Hello and welcome to another song tutorial. Um, today we're looking at Amoeba by Claro. Uh, feel free to keep putting your suggestions in the comments, um, even non-Claro songs, but today's another one off that same album, Sling. This one's quite a bit simpler, so I'll try and keep it quick. Um, so this one has the same four bar chord loop pretty much through the whole song, except for the bridge where it um, changes to a different key and then gets back into that same loop. Okay, so what is that loop? We're in the key of D flat. And um, the first bar is going to be chord two, which is E flat minor. And they add a seven and a nine. So it's like E flat minor nine. Then the next chord is F seven. So chord three, the dominant seven. Then to chord six, which is B flat minor. And then to chord two, dominant seven. So E7. So I'll say that again. E flat minor 9, F7, B flat minor, E flat, E flat 7, you can call it. So it's, what is that? 2, 3, 6, 2 with a major. So that loop is all the way through. They don't quite play the exact same every time. So in particular in the intro, there's um, a little bit of action, so. It kind of has this descending melody in the left hand of the piano. So the bass is playing just the root notes, so E flat, F, B flat, E flat. It does actually have some other stuff, but basically that's what it's playing. Um, and the, the piano is doing like, plays this E flat over the B flat chord, which is kind of weird. So it's just dun, 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 dun. So how that sounds all together with the bass would be like. So it's kind of a little bit more ambiguous, but it's basically outlining those chords. Okay, so you have the intro where that pattern goes twice. Then you have the first verse same chords, goes through it twice, okay then you get to the pre-chorus and the piano goes up a bit higher, it kind of starts going like, so it's still those same chords but it's just playing some little, it kind of breaks up the chords, um, so if it's an F7 it's doing dun, 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 dun. just some kind of little chord fills I guess. That's the pre-chorus, and the chorus, again, just exact same chords. You notice there that I put, um, for that last chord, the E flat, I, they sometimes put G in the bass, it just kind of depends if that, that can work as well. Um, okay, so that's all easy. Then you get up to the bridge. So the first four bars of the bridge starts the same. Okay, but now, instead of the E flat, you get a B minor seven. So it sounds pretty cool. You're going from the B flat minor, steps up a half step to B minor seven. Okay, and now we've transitioned to the key of D. Okay, so we've, we were in the key of D flat, now we're in the key of D. So we've gone here, and then we're gonna go, so E minor nine, F sharp seven, B minor, E7. So the same pattern, but just everything up a half step. So I'll play that whole bridge for you. So it's. Okay, and then the rest of the song is just that same pattern, all in the key of D keep going, you keep going. There's another chorus and it loops all the way until the end, just those four chords. All right, and that's about it for Amoeba. Thanks for watching.